and I'm going to want to make my arms. Since I've already got my back made, I'm going to go ahead and make my arms here, which I've made a pattern for all of my arms. A simple thick paper, reversible. Then I will have my arm at that point. Then on my arm, to make this chamfered in like this, I'll again start with another template, just to get a good outline of where my angle starts dropping in. I'll transfer that over to this arm. And then I'll have this mark So I set myself up a jig. As this jig is go ahead and accept this arm, holding it 15 degrees. Fifteen degrees off my flat. And now I'll just run this area on my orbital sander. to that line. Just keep working it, working it, nice and easy, nice and easy. And I can make arms that are very close to one another. After I have my arm, patterns away. Next I'm going to want to make the support for that arm. One of the more the trickier things. Again, first time I made one, but it was interesting. I'm sure you can see. This piece, I've got it shaped one way, this way, that would be one cut, or both sides would be two cuts. Also, it's going to have to come away from the cushion, so it's going to have to be approximately three and a half inches deep. I'll have another cut for that. So for that piece, I'm going to have to, you have to use one big solid block to get this piece out of. This is just how it will sit like this. You can see on this block that I've staggered all the joints so that nothing lines up. So this one big block is going to form this. Have all that glued up already. do is on this one to get the side profile, this profile. I'll go ahead and I'll transfer this onto it. That'll be one cut. After I have that cut out, I won't cut all the way through. I'll have it 95% of the way cut through. And I'll take it, turn it 90 degrees, and then cut this profile. So on that profile, go ahead and set this template up.
mark this. And that'll be my other profile. Tricky little part right there.